Good afternoon, Hawks. Thanks for watching. I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Taylor. We have a great show for you today. Our first clip is a look at the preparation that we went into the great masquerade dance we had this weekend. Student Council have planned for the masquerade in terms of decoration. So we're planning on doing some cool stuff with uh, street signs. It's going to be a big New Orleans theme, um, Mardi Gras like usual. We've got our regular banners with some masks on them and then uh, just a bunch of beads. We're going to make the walls look like parade floats. The people on the floats are going to be teachers, which is really cool. Uh, and also we're going to create a balcony, um, so in downtown New Orleans you'll have the traditional balcony. Um, so that's going to line the top part of the lobby. It'll be very Mardi Gras-ish. Why do you think students should come to the Master? Okay, so we're really excited about this year's theme. It's Sadie Hawkins, or better known as Girls' Choice. So we try to encourage that the girls ask the guys. Um, so we're really excited about this dance because it's going to be a new twist on it. So you should really come to the dance because it's going to be so much fun like all of our other dances. So it's it's been a while since we've had a dance, so it'll be really fun for students to come. You just have a good night with a bunch of friends. Just come out and have a good time. Thank you to the Student Council for putting together a great event for us. I'll now hear some highlights from the basketball senior night. Great job to the girls basketball team for winning their first playoff game against SSA and good luck to the boys team as the playoffs are about to begin. So we have like a lot of young players. So those young players, they started out like really immature, but they're getting like, they're getting better and more mature. So it's helping the team out a lot. How will the seniors that are leaving impact the team next year? We don't have that many seniors, but I mean, they, they're like really, they're really good leaders on the court. So it'll, it'll kind of hurt the team. What do you hope to achieve by the end of this season? Uh, we achieved it. We want to achieve to go as far as we can in the playoffs, and you know, just our mind, our mindset was just not to just win district, but um, just to uh, keep winning playoff games. And so that's what we're gonna do. What will you miss most as this season comes to an end? Uh, probably the seniors and just the uh, connection we have with each other and how we're like a family. And, uh, you know, a couple guys trying to decide if we're gonna, if they're gonna still play or not, and um, yeah, we're gonna miss that. What are you going to miss most about this year's season? Uh, definitely the guys on the team. I mean, we're all really close together, really close teammates, and uh, definitely the moments that we have together. How do you think the performance of the team has come along this year? Uh, a long way. Like from the beginning, you know, we're primarily a young team, got a lot of small guys, but. Uh, we definitely developed chemistry and uh, really pushed through to come a long way. Do you hope to continue your basketball career in college? Uh, I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. Uh, maybe walk on somewhere, but I mean, whatever happens, happens. Next up, here are some highlights of the wrestling team in their state tournament. I'm Dave Dupachon, 160 state finals. Uh, hi, I'm Dionisio Talbot, or Dino Talbot, 152 state champion. How does it feel to be the first two state finalists? Uh, it feels cool. Like, you know, I had a lot of fun going, hanging out with my dudes during the two days. Yeah. Um, you know, I had my birthday party and everything. <laughs> Pretty fun. Um, 
being a first state finalist. It feels I feel somewhat the same. Like when you when you when you train for something for so long, yeah. it's like you don't expect anything but the best. So when True. it happens, it's not necessarily a surprise. It's just like it's just like it's feeling. an expectation. Yeah, it's yeah. it's the feeling of just being there for your team. So, uh, do y'all think wrestling over these past four years has not only changed you as a wrestler, but changed you as a person? Uh, if so, how? Um, I got big. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I feel pretty good and I'm proud. Cause after like working for four years to try to like better myself, like the hard work's finally paid off. I'm just proud to be a wrestler for Hannon and be a state finalist. I, do you I'm, think I'm you able to beat up my older brother now? Uh, okay. Beat me up a lot, and it taught me about like discipline and yeah. confidence in myself, etc. Yeah, I think it's um it's really taught me like as long as you work hard and you stay persistent in something that eventually you'll be able to like overcome your obstacles and be successful. Yeah. Number one thing is be a good teammate, and when it comes time to secure the bag, secure the bag. Secure the bag. Great job to David and Dino for making school history. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, Hawks, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot what you say. Sorry, sorry. <laughs>